Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover another interesting problem, shortest distance to a character. The input given is a string S and a character E, sorry C, and we have to return the shortest distance array of that character in a given string. So let's understand the problem statement with an example. Here is our given input string S and character C. So now the character given is E. We have to return an array output which consist, consists of shortest distance to a character from every character in that string. So starting from our character L, we have to search where is our E. So if you see E is at the fourth position, so the difference is 3 here. So the first index is having the value 3. So now from O, we are calculating the distance that is 2. We have 2 here. From V, it is 1. We have 1 here. E is the actual character, so the distance is 0. Now moving on to L, we have two E's next to each other. That is previously one E and next to it another E. So in this case, the distance is going to be same. So we are going to update this 1. So again, we have two E's. The distance is going to be 0 and 0. So now from these T, you have to calculate which is the shortest. That is the E before T or the E at the end or the E at the beginning. So if you see the E before T is the shortest distance. So we are updating to 1. So now from C, we are calculating which is the shortest. The E before T or the E after D. The E after D will be coming. The difference is 2. The difference is 3. And uh, the E before T is 2. So finally, updating the whole array which gives the shortest distance between that character at that index and the given character C. So now, how are we going to approach this? As usual, first we are going to hit our brute force and see how it is going to work and move on to a better approach. So now our brute force is going to scan the characters in an array with an index i and for every i, it is going to completely scan the string with an scanner element j and calculate the lowest distance and update the array. So let's see with an example. So our i is at position 0. Now here our output array is should be of same size as that of our uh, string. So now our i is at 0. We are going to scan the complete string to check what is the shortest distance between L and E. So first it is going to scan every element and checks whether it is E. It moves as the character doesn't match and end here at the first E. The first E is at the position 4. So the difference between 1 and 4 is 3. So we are updating to 3. So now it is moving on to the next E. It is 5. It is 6. Finally, it is larger. So it is going to completely scan and fix the value 3. Now it moves to the second character O. So now our I is at O. That is the second position. It is again going to scan the whole string from L to E to check from O which is the shortest distance. It hits E first and the shortest distance is 2. And now moving on to this E, it checks whether the shortest distance is 2 or this. And finally end with the final E and confirm the value 2. Like that, the pointer I moves to every character till the last E and scan the complete string every time. And which is, whichever is the minimum value, it updates our output array. So this algorithm actually works in order of n square where n is the length of the string we are going to iterate it every time in two loops so now let's see how we are going to code this so now we are going to declare an output array result of size string dot length and we are going to iterate through the string using a pointer i starts from the zeroth index and completely through the string and if it found the character in the string
then it is going to calculate the distance from that character to every other character and update our output array. For that, we are going to have another pointer j again starts from the 0th index and iterate through the string. And update our result array that is we have to put the minimum distance so we are going to update it with mac dot min of j and mac dot absolute difference between the pointer that holds the character t and every character j. So this will iterate once it finds the character c it is gonna update the distance for every character in the string from that char particular character's index. So every time it finds the character again it is gonna update with the minimum value like that we are updated with our complete output array. So let's return Our arrays will be filled with all zeros in Java. So we are going to fill our arrays with maximum value first. So that once it updates with the minimum value, it will be updated with the proper values. So yes, we got proper output. And yes, our solution is accepted. You can see it took three milliseconds to run the solution. So how to make this solution even better? So this took order of n, big O of n square time complexity. Let's try something to make it big O of n. So how to do that? So now in our second approach, we are going to have c position variable which remembers the previous position of that character e in our string. So for example first we are going to iterate our string from 0th position to 11 in forwarding order and we are going to remember the position of our character c and from that position we are going to calculate all the absolute distance. So once that is done we are going to do a reverse scan of the same string from 11 to 0 and check again update the c position and calculate the distance in our output array. So once both are done we are going to choose the minimum value out of the two and finalize our output array. So just stay with me we are going to see the code first and then come to our dry run with our example. So now let's enter the code for our second approach. So I'm going to have my result array which is what I'm going to return at the last. So in between I'm declaring my c position variable equal to minus n that is the size of the length is n. So now I am assigning the value for c position as minus n that is the minimum value out of all. So I am going to scan my string from 0th index to n and going to calculate my output array result. Absolute of i minus c position that is I'm calculating from that position where is my c position is there and update the array 
but before that if i found the character given at my string i'm going to update the c position otherwise it simply calculates from that position and update the result array so now i'm going to do a reverse scan So I'm just gonna do the same. That is, if I found the character, I'm gonna update my C position and I'm gonna calculate my result. But this time, I'm not just going to put absolute of I minus C position, but I'm gonna calculate minimum value out of already present value in array. and the new value calculated from the new C position. Simple. So every time I'm encountering the character in my string, I'm going to find the difference and update my result array. And I'm going to do a reverse scan. I'm going to do the same thing that from reverse, whenever I encounter the character given, I'm going to update my C position and calculate result. But this time, I'm going to update my result array with minimum of already present value or already calculated value and newly calculated value from the new position. So let's go for a try run with our example and then run the code. So now we have our current position initialized to minus, uh, minus 12. That is the size of the uh, string given. We are going to update our result array at our first scan like this. That is from minus 2, 0 minus 12 is minus 12 and 1 minus 12 is minus 11. And same way, we are just updating till here. Once we found our E, we are updating the C position is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 to 3. So now it is moving to fourth position. So 4 minus 3 is 1 and 5th position again it is 0, 0 and now our C position will be 4, 5, 6. So C position will become 6. So now from 6 they are updating that is 7 minus 6 is going to be 1 and 8 minus 6 is going to be 2, 9 minus 6, 10 minus 6. So now here it is finally it has encountered a E and C position becomes 12 and the loop terminates. So in our previous iteration, our C position was 12. Having C position as 12, starting from the last index, we are going to calculate our second uh, output result array. So now 12 minus 12 is 0. 11 minus 12, the absolute difference is 1. And updating like this, we are reaching another E. So the index is 0. Now our CP is updating to that position that is from 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So it is updated to 7. And it was 6, 6 minus 7, the absolute difference is 1. Again, we have encountered an E. So we are updating our position to 9. So from 9, it is again calculating this 1, 2, 3. So now we have two calculated result arrays. Out of these two, both are giving answers to the minimum difference distance between the character E from each character given in the string. So now we have to get a result array by having the minimum of both the arrays. In this case, after updating the minimum, this is our result we got. So, so this algorithm runs in big go of n time because we are iterating a string twice, not looping in for every character as we did in brute force. Now let's go and run our algorithm. So I just need to update this to minus minus. Let's run. So yes. This algorithm runs in one milliseconds, which is better than our previous solution. So thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching Code Scam. Thank you.